remember he's taking over as India's uh, first chief of defence staff. It's being called the new post of the super chief. This is the first time someone's being uh, given that post of chief of defence staff. What is his job going to be as the new CDS? Is going to be to make sure that the three wings of India's armed forces, the three uh, forces, the army, the Indian army, the Indian air force and the Indian navy work in sync with each other, work in synergy with each other. Many experts have pointed out uh, to uh, uh, here on CNN News 18 as well that uh, so far India's three services uh, have been operating as independent silos. Now General Bipin Rawat is the man of the moment. Uh, Shreya Dhondial is joining me uh, with more on that. Uh, Shreya, General Bipin Rawat, uh, many are asking whether he's the right man for it, but the fact is that he is now the man in the spotlight, the, new, the first ever CDS that India has. All right, uh, we seem to have lost our connection with Shreya. We'll try and patch back to her. Shreya, if you can hear me, you know, General Bipin Rawat... Yeah, General Bipin Rawat is now the man in the moment. A very, very tall order for him. He's got a three-year period to complete that very difficult task. Uh, you know, here's the thing about the tenure of the CDS. If you look at the charter that has been cleared by the Cabinet Committee of Security, it doesn't say how long the tenure can be. All it says is that the CDS can serve up to a term of three years if the government so wishes. I'm paraphrasing it, yeah. But yeah, he has uh, approximately three years. He's, uh, he's 62 right now. He has three years till he's 65, uh, you know, and that's, uh, that's when he'll be demitting office, retiring. And he does have a tall order in front of him. I mean, look at what he's going to be dealing with. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the bands, the marching bands of three services assemble uh, here at South Block. This is when we are expecting General Bipin Rawat any time now. Currently, he's at the National War Memorial, and this is tradition. You know, every time a chief takes over, everyone, some, anytime someone important in the military establishment is taking over or relinquishing office, you go and pay uh, your respects to the 26,000 men who've laid down their lives in the line of duty post-independence. So this is tradition that you're seeing. This is the highest military tradition that you're, see, that you're seeing playing out on your television screen. In a while from now, he will be here at the South Block where he assumes office. Although if you look at the charter and the order that the government has uh, put out, it says that from 31st of December 2019 is when uh, General Rawat has been appointed the CDS. But today is going to be the first day, his first day in office. Talking about, uh, you know, the challenges in front of him, three big major challenges. And we've spoken about these before, but I think it bears repeating. First is, of course, jointness. Uh, you know, how do you sort out the turf wars between the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force and bringing, uh, bringing a certain degree of synergy uh, for the armed forces to be agile fighting units? Uh, that is something that will is going to be priority and I think that's going to be the number one challenge uh, for General Bipin Rawat. It's not going to be easy, I can assure you that. He's mm. the senior most general uh, right now in the Indian Armed Forces. He's senior to the uh, Army, Navy mm. and Air Chief. So, hierarchy-wise, it's taken care of. Uh, but, you know, trying to get in synergy, trying to sort out the turf wars is going to be tough. Uh, secondly, very importantly, theater command. His big mandate is theater command. And I'm seeing... Uh, I'm seeing the Air Force chief now arrive at uh, South Block uh, for the Tri-Services Guard of Honor. Uh, do remember very quickly, this is a detour, uh, but uh, you know there is clarity on the facts on how the command structure is going to flow. The three chiefs will not be reporting to the CDS. They will be reporting to the Raksha Mantri as, as is procedure, as, as are the rules that are laid down. The second big uh, uh, priority for the... CDS will be theater commands. Uh, you right, know, Shreya, theater Shreya, commands we're getting, yeah, we're getting those visuals uh, from the National War Memorial. General Rawat has just reached uh, the National War Memorial. He's just taken over as uh, India's new Chief of Defence Staff, the first ever, in fact, uh, CDS to take over that role. Shreya, you were pointing out uh, that it's a very interesting kind of role where, uh, you know, his job is to make sure that there is synergy, there is coordination. You know, there are nations around the world, Shreya, where this does happen. There are countries which have uh, joint chiefs because these uh, nations have, uh, you know, very large unwieldy armies that need uh, to be coordinated. So India is really, uh, you know, going along that path as well now to have a sort of coordinated, uh, to have a mechanism of coordination as well. I mean, for example, General Bipin Rawat, the man you're seeing on your screens right now, uh, who is at the National War Memorial, one of the things 
is one of the thing they tried to do but was unsuccessful in doing was cutting uh, cutting the number of people within the indian army as well he wanted to cut down the number by almost a lakh uh, but that didn't go down well in you know various political quarters there was uh, you know there was some dissent within the indian army but the fact is that your force has to be a lean mean fighting machine and that is what theater commands are expected to do uh from just just to give you the example of china which in 2016 reorganized uh the pla into five military five theater commands mm. so you have one theater command and this is a specialized absolutely integrated unit that is looking after the border with india uh you know where it all right let's listen into that ceremony that is getting underway over there General Rawat paying homage to the thousands of uh, Indian soldiers who have fallen over the years, who have uh, lost their lives in the line of duty. Shreya, you were pointing out that one of the big mandates uh, that General Rawat now has in front of him is theatre commands. You know, how exactly does a, a system of theatre commands uh, function differently from the kind of structure that the Indian Armed Forces have right now? All right. So you know, right now between the Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force. we have 17 commands 17 17 commands who all function at their different levels uh, so the uh, indian air force has seven commands the army has seven commands and the navy has three commands is it you know are so many commands required you know they are diverse they come under diverse commanders the whole idea is to integrate when once a theater command comes in then you have the air force and the army and in some sections even the navy that is reporting to one commander as part of one structure and if the if the time comes then you are a cohesive unit that has uh, practiced together and you are absolutely ready in a cohesive manner to go to war that is the idea of a theater command that is the idea of a theater command i'm seeing that the army chief now walk into south block uh, along with his wife this is the tri service uh, guard of honor uh, that uh, we are all awaiting when we are awaiting for general bipin rawat to now come come here any time now uh, the air force chief has already arrived as well we are uh, just expecting the navy chief to arrive as well uh, i was giving you the example of china i i beg your pardon i get uh, you know i i get diverted but just to come back to the point about china i was trying to make in 2016 mm. the pla was reorganized uh, into five theater commands so there is one you know there's one theater command that is looking as far as china is concerned looking at the borders with china this is one fighting unit that combines the uh, you know the army and the air force when it comes to the indian side we are seven you know there are seven commands that are looking after this entire 4000 km stretch as far as india is concerned so you obviously need to reorganize let's listen in at that ceremony currently underway for that All right, General Bipin Rawat. There, General Bipin Rawat at the National War Memorial. He's just paid tribute to all those who have uh, who have uh, uh, lost their lives in the line of duty.
He's got a tall order in front of him. Over the next uh, three years, li most likely, he's going to be working towards making sure there is synergy between the three armed forces. And also, as uh, my colleague Shrad Hondial was pointing out just a short while earlier, make sure that he can constitute theatre command. Now, what is the theatre command? As Shreya was pointing out, you have uh, you know, the Army, Navy and the Air Force in particular theatres uh, of, uh, of, uh, of security working as a cohesive unit. My colleague Shreya Hondial is back with us. Shreya, you know, um, how will the command structure of a theatre command flow who is going to be so for example who is going to be a general officer commanding will it be someone from the army air force or navy because these are all you know modalities that will need to be worked out that is where the turf wars will erupt, won't they? Because uh, the, it's the Indian Air Force that it, it, that has shown a certain degree of hesitation when it comes to theatre command because they say they will not be very comfortable if uh, their command structure will be flowing from the army, for example. You know, if a particular theatre command mm. is being... And, and the army is the largest force. It's, it's the largest force between the three services by quite a stretch. Uh, so, you know, the logical assumption always is that the theatre command will be commanded by an army officer. And... Uh, so should should an air force commander be reporting to an army commander hmm. those are the sort of modalities in the turf force that we are talking about that is why you you know you've had the air force put in a certain degree of resistance as far as theta commands is concerned but you know you can't delay it to, uh, to uh, you know you can't delay it any longer it's an idea right. whose time has come it is something that uh, general rawat has batted for for a really long time hmm. in fact even within the military there's something called the integrated battle groups that are already being you know experimented with these are smaller brigade level uh, you know units that that, that are working together uh, but the larger idea of a theater i mean if if you know the theater command is a larger idea the ibgs uh, are the sub ideas and that is something that is already being ex experimented within the indian army that is something that was the idea of general bipin rawat so i think he carries over that experience for his job as the cds hmm. uh, he officially takes over today uh, you know, and uh, while we're talking about theatre command, the third big priority obviously will be the procurement of arms, mm. ammunition, uh, ammunition. Uh, that's for the army. Then you want, you need more warships. You need, need uh, you know, you need submarines. Uh, fighter squadron is down to 28 after the phasing out of the MiG-29. Uh, you need more fighter aircraft. Uh, you know, the Air Force has constantly said. In a two-front war, uh, you know, if we ever come to that, look at our fighters, uh, fighter strength, look at our fighter squadron strength, it's simply not enough. So there are concerns, the budget is low, and, uh, and the, the CDS, right. the new CDS, when he takes over... All right. is uh, the one who's, have to, who's going to have to deal with all of it. Absolutely, and examples do exist around the world. Most notably, China, as you were pointing out, has managed to reconstitute its uh, army into theatre commands. Thank you so much, Sayad Hondial, for joining us with all those details. General Bipin Rawat now taking over as uh, the Chief of Defence Staff. Uh, Tri-Services, uh, 